clarity is kindness. And I think one of the ways we can be clear to our community is telling people how they can find us, but also like, what are the steps you should initially take if you want to start kind of being a part of our church community. And so that's what I sought to do here on this website recently. Very grateful. Uh, Brady Shear shouted out our website, the best small church website he's seen, uh, passioncreek.church. And also a couple other people like Justin Nava have done some really great overviews of our website and why it's helpful. And one thing that Justin highlighted, I think I want to talk about a little bit is uh, right on the homepage. Let's just jump right into it. After, you know, you see our vision, where our passion is to make not attenders, but disciples who reorient their lives to be formed by Jesus together for others. And there's a button for you to understand where our location is. Right away, we have a, hey, new here, start here. Uh, this honestly is a recent addition that we created uh, in our church. Let me actually move this guy over here, this guy. Let me move me over here so you can see. Let me show you what I mean uh, when I talk about the plan your visit, party with the pastors, and growth track. Uh, this is an amalgamation of things we've learned from several other people. I love to learn from as many different tribes and churches as possible. And so after kind of gathering a lot of resources, we found this has been really helpful, to be honest. Um, man, I hate to admit it, but like our church, I've been excited about what we've been doing for a while. But once we implemented these three steps, our church literally like began to grow overnight. And, you know, that's kind of depressing. It's also very exciting. Uh, Cause you just want the spirit of God to move and he does, but he also loves organization. And I just think it's really helpful for people to say like, oh, I understand my next step. So number one is plan your visit. And so we have a video here that they can watch right away. Uh, this one's actually long. I'm experimenting with this one. We're about to shoot a new one at the end of this month. And so it's probably gonna be back to three minutes, but I think this one's a full, so yeah. This one's a full five minutes. Uh, but I initially address people's anxieties about visiting a church. And then I show them just from start to finish, what does it look like when a church meets at a school? When you click on that, you can say, plan your visit today. And when you click it, it's just the full page. So you can get all of your questions, answers like location and kids curriculum and what should you wear. But also, of course, you can pre-register your kids, which is huge. And so let us know the names and all the medical records so that when you come, you're quickly checked in. But also just let us know you're coming. Maybe you don't have children, but just put in your name and that way we can pray for you and be prepared for you to come. <clears throat> so that's plan your visit. Let me know if you have any other questions, but that is step one. So hopefully they do this before they come. Of course, they don't have to. What I have found, a lot of people watch it, but they don't actually fill it out. And that's fine because, you know, people love to abuse emails. So I think uh, there's enough trust is built to come, but maybe not enough trust to give you my email yet. And that's why step two, every first Sunday of the month, we have a party with the pastors. Now, when we used, when we did party with the pastors, we started, uh, oh man, when was that? We started, I think summer of 23. We said, you know what? We're going to, no, it was May of 23. Every single first Sunday of the month, we're going to do like a party with the pastors. We initially called it pizza with the pastors because it was after the 10 o'clock service. So we gave people lunch. But now that we have 9, 15 and 11, pizza doesn't really make sense at 10, 15 in the morning. So it's just a party and uh, we give them bagels and stuff. But my fears, let me just say some of those fears out loud. One of my fears was, man, that's great every first Sunday. But man, we don't average that many new guests. What if we announce, make a big deal about it? And then just one person shows up or nobody shows up. And honestly, since we did this back in May of 2023, it's been 16 months since we started this. I think there's only been one service where nobody showed up to the party. Uh, so, and that was almost like, whew, get a little bit of a break. Let's get ready for the next service. And so it's been amazing when you create that kind of opening, people show up to those things. Uh, but the biggest mistake we made when we started with the party is we kind of gave the whole just like strategy of how we make disciples. And we have found that was actually, um, you know that line where it's like, hey, don't teach them how to build a boat, teach them to long for the sea and they'll figure it out. So we decided, hey, let's share the heartbeat of our church. Let's share the five priorities of our church. And then if you keep coming, you're gonna learn our system. You're gonna learn how we seek to make disciples. But that you don't necessarily need to get to the nuts and bolts on week one. So every first Sunday, we shout it from the rooftops, we tell people to sign up for it, and people show up, and it's amazing. And um, it's been a great way to integrate people into the life of our church, and we do our five priorities. And so comment below if you'd like for me to make a video on what those five are for us. I encourage you, of course, to make your own. So let's go back to the website. So it's hopefully somebody has planned their visit and then they're coming for a while. Ooh, can I share another secret with you? Are you guys all right with this? All right, the other thing we do is when you come, we took this from another church as well. 
we say, hey, we invite you to take the stick six challenge. And so then we say, hey, we understand discerning God's call for a local church to make your home is really, really hard. I remember it, honestly, when I went to college, it was a lot harder than I thought. And so that gives me a lot of empathy for those who are trying to find a home, not just for them, but for their children, all of that. There's a lot weighing on you when you're looking for a church. And so we just say, hey, one Sunday, we might not be our best. You might not be at your best. You know, it's hard to discern God in just span of one hour visit with somebody. So we say, hey, we believe, we are fully confident. If you come six weeks in a row, you will know for sure or, you know, you'll know for sure if this is your home or not. And if it's not, please let us help you find a church. We know enough gospel-centered churches in this area. We'd love to kind of ask some of your questions and maybe direct you in certain places. And so people have taken us up on that. It's been amazing. It's been fun for people to say, hey, week four, you know, and there's a few things that we do every single uh, month. So it's like, hey, if you come in those six weeks, you're going to hit party with the pastors. You're also, week two is going to be growth track. Week three is communion. And so we tell people to come and stick it out. It's been amazing how it's opened people's uh, minds to actually calling our place home. So let's look back here at the website because every first Sunday is uh, party with the pastors. Every second Sunday is growth track. Now, when we first rolled this out in May of 23, we made the growth track into a three-week thing. And so we just said, hey, party with the pastors is the first week of every month. But then every three months... Those next three Sundays are Jesus 101, Together 101, Others 101. And we just found it was hard to understand the schedule. We found actually what we're trying to do is membership. And really, I think there's another step we need to take before that. And so we were just, we, we wrestled with it. We did it all summer. And then we just got honest and said, you know what? That, necess not, that wasn't what was helpful the most. Um, I think we called it like Growth Track 101 or it wasn't even Growth Track. It was like... A, Passion Creek 101. See, it wasn't even good branding. So we were like, okay, I think personally there's like a dating phase and then almost like you're engaged and then you get married to the church, right? Covenantal membership. And so I think we sometimes speed those up too soon. Uh, I think there's sometimes they need to understand who we are. And I also think there's some things people can do before officially like becoming members. And so we're like, okay, in growth track, let's address, okay, maybe party with the pastors. You kind of got a general overview. You're kind of sold. I at least want to try this out. The second week growth track, let's condense all the stuff. Let's not try to do membership yet. Let's focus on two things, how to grow. We want you to grow and the biggest two ways we see, like the first easy two steps are to join a group and to serve. And so we stripped all of that down and then made it consistent. Every second week of the month, we are doing growth track. And so at the growth track, people can sign up here. Uh, you got to learn how to uh, join the community and live out your purpose by serving at Passion Creek. And so that has been a game changer for our people. It's been amazing to see people take little steps. And so it's required for us to have better systems. It's required us to be able to say, okay, what is something people can do that doesn't require covenantal membership, that doesn't require they fully agree to our doctrine yet? And I think there's helpful ways to add those kind of positions. And so there's actually a lot of positions where I think people can just start coming and just kind of fill in a spot. And so that's what we've created. And it's been amazing to see. Um, I have learned, especially men, we learn the most about people and make relationships over shoulder to shoulder activity, serving together, going to group together. Uh, and so that's been wonderful. So we just kind of give the whole pitch. Here's the different places to serve. Here's kind of the rhythms. We hope that you serve. We really stress serve one, sit one now that we're a two service gathering, uh, but also uh, for groups, we just talk about why they're sermon based, why they're practice based, uh, what the rhythm is, um, how we're not necessarily even location or we're not, excuse me, we're not affinity based. We try to just make it by location so you guys can do life together. And so it's been so great. We've had to add several groups and they're already full. So we're now like, oh no, we got to add even more. It's been all sorts of fun problems. And I want to give partial credit to this three-step framework. They plan their visit. Then we said, okay, here's your next step. Bravo. Plan Now go to party. Great. Bravo. Now go to the growth track. Great. Bravo. Now go into a home this week and be a part of a group and start serving on Sundays. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, I actually think this stuff it's, uh, I think the bread and butter of a healthy church is living out the way of Jesus, learning the way of Jesus, all those things. But it's amazing how these little tweaks organizationally, bringing more clarity to your church and their easy next steps, especially newcomers, it's amazing how it can help people go further faster. So 
Comment again, comment below any questions you may have, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching today's video. This is the video I think you should watch. This is the video YouTube says you should watch.